Everyday use of your vehicle leads to the gradual accumulation of carbon deposits throughout the engine and the exhaust system. It is imperative to give your engine a deep clean so as to restore its performance to its peak. In view of this, we'll be having a conversation with a young man running a mobile car carbon cleaning service called the Carbon Cleaning Ghana on this episode of DC Focus. We heard so much about Carbon Cleaning Ghana. I would like you to take us through what your company does and yeah, why Carbon Cleaning Ghana? Okay. So Carbon Cleaning Ghana basically is to our entire I mean operation is to take our carbon builder from the from the engines. Okay. From all type of engines. Diesel, petrol, hybrid, gas engines. Now we are working on a a Toyota Camry 2.5 petrol engine. So uh, this is our carbon cleaning station. All right. And then uh, if you can if you can see it, it's already running. So this is a green button showing the the, the service is good. The session is going on. So this is our timer to start the entire process. And this is our power button. And this is uh, if you can see some parameters. The engine is running at uh, 33.6 Celsius. All right. So what does this stand for? This is the amperes for okay. the battery, and then right. this is the voltage for the battery, and this is the, the temperature of the engine. All right, interesting. All right, so um, what 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 process? How do you prep a car for carbon uh, for the carbon cleaning? Okay, so first, before we start, we uh, we check for error codes with this uh, OBD2 scanner. We've already done that before okay. we started. Yeah, so. For every car, I mean, it's a standard procedure. You need to check for every car's codes. codes you okay. check and clear the codes first before you start the process. All right. And then after, you uh, you prep the the engine bay, the intake filter, because okay. we need a blue hose to go into the air intake filter, and then the the battery terminals, the posit the positive and negative. Okay. Also, yeah. All right. So before we proceed. I'd like to know what influenced your decision to start Carbon Cleaning Ghana. And I'm, 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 I've not seen such a service running in Ghana at the moment, like a mobile carbon cleaning service running in Ghana at the moment. So I'd like to know your, your, uh, what influenced your decision to start such a service in Ghana. Okay, yeah. So basically, I'm a marina myself. I work on, I work on vessels. I work on, uh, I mean... Are you on sea? Yeah, I work oh, at sea. So, I mean... Uh, my experience is for gas, gas carriers and then oil tankers. So I mean, I work in the engine department. We work on diesel engines. I mean, basically we work on diesel engines. Our main engines are diesel engines. So yeah, I mean, that's where I got the idea or the interest to, I mean, to bring up something like this. Because uh, if, uh, if you work on, uh, if you, because I enter engines actually. Okay. I enter, we, we have big engines up to, I mean, uh, my last engine I worked on was, uh, the biggest I've worked on is a 21,000 kilowatt engine. It's a big engine. That's huge. Yeah, that's huge. So, I mean, if you can enter engines as huge as that and do, car we do carbon cleaning also. We call it scavenge cleaning. So, scavenge space cleaning. So, if you do that also, and then I'm like, okay, if you can do that for ships with engines like that, how about, I mean, smaller engines, how about motorcycles and stuff? So, that was where I've, I mean, I found the interest to, I mean, check up on I mean any technology or something that could I mean do this job so I found this in uh, France from France, France. So, it's, so it's a French technology actually from okay. uh, Lily yeah so how, how easy was it starting this business uh, I would say yes I mean every business first of all it is a uh, capital I mean capital yes so finding capital was was, was, was was another challenge but I mean I used my savings for I mean my entire savings mm. for this thing yeah all right so let's say um how easy because th because this is new yeah so how easy how easy how easy is it to get like new clients or clients to try this this service so basically it's social media social digital media. marketing yeah. yeah so i mean i'm uh instagram facebook i mean friends a couple of friends and my website is also running so it's basically instagram facebook that's it okay all right and what are some of the reviews you've received, that you've, you've received from clients who have tried this service? Uh, one, I would say they are, what do you call it, uh, 
the, the, the improved performance on their, on their, on their acceleration. Okay. Two, the engines are sounding quieter and smoother, it runs smoother. And then three, uh, their fuel efficiency. Okay. Yeah, and then I mean the general, I mean the general customer experience also. Yeah, right. those are the feedbacks I get from my clients. So for someone who doesn't know about a carbon build-up in their cars, can you briefly tell us or take us through the process of carbon build-up or how carbon builds up in the engine? And which part of the engine does a carbon build up or, or store you know something? So can yeah. you kindly take it to the process? Okay, so uh, basically all internal combustion engines have issues with carbon build, especially diesel engines and then direct injection engines. So I mean, an engine needs uh, air, fuel, and then heat to work. And then, okay, let me come down to this level. Like uh, back in our homes, like, okay, if, if there's a permission for me to speak to you. Oh yeah, go, go okay. ahead. So I mean, or oh, Fanti, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm a Fanti, so right, sure. yeah. I mean, uh, still the English will come anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, back in the day, you see we have cool pots in our homes. This charcoal cool pot. Yeah. I mean, you know, the design is more or less uh, like this and then goes down. So the down part is uh, like a small chamber. Yeah. So the cool pot, I mean, the, 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 the charcoal is on top. So I mean, it also needs fuel. Oh, yeah. It also needs heat, and also need the spark. I mean, the that, that spark to work. So when the, when the charcoal is burning, I mean, you you have to fan it. So you be fanning it, yeah. So that I would say for cars, that's the acceleration. Okay. Uh huh. So after some time, after some time, I mean, after the charcoal everything is burned, it goes down to the bottom part. So I would say that's the engine, I mean, that's the combustion chamber. Okay. So, I mean, as time goes on, you need to be removing the, I mean, the SS. Okay. So, I mean, uh, if you don't remove it and then you find it, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, uh, burn properly or burn well. So the moment you remove it, I mean, in the mornings, that's what we do. I mean, very early, those, those of us that stay with our grandmas, I mean, yeah. early in the morning, that's the first thing you need to do before you start the, the I mean, uh, the, the entire process. So, I mean, when you remove the, 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 the ashes from the down there and then you find it i mean you will see the improvement of uh, i mean the, the charcoal burning very well okay. so i mean that's the basic i would say that's similarly to this okay so i mean if you take if you take out the carbon through i mean our 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 process is simple it's just no dismantling if you if, as, as you can see it's only three assets that we need the battery and the intake so uh, yeah so uh carbon build up it's going to come. Looking at the, the nature of our driving system here, what do you think is the carbon build-up in cars in Ghana? Okay, how, how we drive and how even some, 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 I mean, some step on the solution that hard. Okay. It's not helping. So come on, you are just injecting fuel and it's not burning. After it, it was returned to carbon because it has no use in there. Okay. It's, the, I mean, the system is too rich. So it will not even, I mean, combust fully. So it will have to go out of the system. And then you are in traffic. Okay. So it stays in the, it stays in the engine. So how, you know, you need to only accelerate slowly, gradually, and then the engine picks up. Okay. And then our fuel quality is also another thing. It's also another challenge for, I mean, carbon build up, yeah. So can you briefly take us through the process of carbon cleaning? Okay, so uh, it's a hydrogen service that we use. It's a hydrogen equipment that we use. Okay. So this blue hose, is where the hydrogen gas passes. Okay. And then this. Uh, is it gaseous or is it liquid? Now nah, it's liquid inside, but it comes out as gaseous. As gaseous, all right. Yeah. So it goes into the air intake. Okay. And then these two terminals, the red and black, is a positive and negative. Okay. So we use this on the batteries to power the equipment, and then this goes into the air intake. The air intake. Yeah. After filter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So can you briefly? Uh, define each and every function on the machine. Okay, so this is the power button. Okay. And then this is the temperature of the engine, the voltage of the battery, and the amperes or amperage. Yeah. And then this is the timer. So 0, 10, each one is 10. So 0 to 120 depends on each engine capacity. I mean, uh, then we give the timer. So this is also an, uh, an indicator. Uh, it's a red and green so okay. when it's running it turns to green when it stops it turns to red okay so can you tell us why cars need to be carbonized 
I mean, uh, carbon build-up affects each car after 10 to 20,000 miles on, okay. e on each car. So, I mean, uh, it's a preventive maintenance. Okay. So, I mean, just like the oil change, the coolant, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the transmission oil change and all, do, all those stuff, yeah, the preventive maintenance everyone does. I mean, the carbon clean is also one of the highly recommended services that people must do, but I mean, the service was not I mean, readily available in the country. So okay. Now, the technology is existing, so, yeah. All right, so how safe is these, this carbon, carbon decarbonization? How safe is it? It's 100% safe. 100% safe? Yeah, we are using hydrogen, no chemicals. No chemicals. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, for a car like this, how long is the, the carbon cleansing going to take? It will take uh, 45 minutes. It's a 2.5 engine. 2.5 liter engines. engine, yeah. So, which, 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 in, which type of engine capacities do you normally work on? Or can you carbon clean? We can work up to 13.0. 13 we, we can work on buses, we can work on motorcycles, boat engines. Uh, auxiliary engines, as in uh, diesel generators, okay. petrol generators, we can we can work on anything that has an engine that runs on fuel, that runs on diesel, petrol. Yeah. We can. Okay. So how frequent, um, how frequent can a car user decarbonize his or her car? After, yeah, company recommends between fifteen to twenty thousand miles after. And then okay. some three months, and then yeah. Personally, let's say yeah, somebody use, uses his car on a highway, a highway driver and a, what do you call it, a, a city a, a city driver would actually the city driver will actually need to do it more often than the one doing the highway drive because I mean highway driving is also a form of carbon cleaning. So yeah, after every twenty thousand or fifteen thousand miles, or if if you feel like your car is running funny, any funny, you could you could also try. All right. So, which areas of the car does does this process really affect? Okay. So, uh, this goes into the I mean the combustion chamber. Okay. So, it cleans the entire combustion chamber. It takes out the carbon build out up to seventy to seventy five percent, and then it cleans also the the catalytic converter up to thirty percent. It cleans the exhaust gas regulator. It cleans the cylinder head, the pistons, the spark plugs. The uh, if it's an if it's a diesel engine, the injectors also, and then the DPF, diesel particulate filter. Okay, so um, during the cleansing period or the cleansing process, sorry, how one how one take note of the of the carbon emission from the engine? Okay. For instance, I'm the, I'm the owner of the car. I want to yeah. see the the carbon come out of the car. Yeah, I mean, um, so far. All the services I've done, I mean, uh, clients want to see it physically. I mean, yeah, in, yeah. in our part of the world, they want to see the physical side of everything. Yeah. For diesel engines, what I've, what I've observed and some engines, depending on how bad the engine is, you will see the thick, dark smoke. When, when I start the service, you see the smokes coming out. I mean, the volume reduces to, I mean, the, the bare minimum and the color also changes. Mm -hmm. So you see the physical side. Some engines actually wet. I mean, between uh, out of 10, let's say out of 10 cars that I've done, eight of them actually wet. It's more like a steam or something. I mean, at a cold start, you see that, but I mean, during the day, when I do this service, I mean, the, 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 the exhaust of the engine wet. All right. So, I mean, uh, for, for, for a vehicle owner to see the, 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 that his car has been worked on, the acceleration, it improves. Your fuel efficiency, it improves. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Even the sound of your engine, some engines are loud, not that, not uh, excluding, I mean, the tuned engines. But I mean, on a regular your engine, you feel like, no, your engine sounds bad, or I mean, the sound is not good for you. It, it calms down the engine, the engine runs smoother. Right. Quiet. Okay, so let's say you meet a car and you pitch this carbon cleaning, carbon cleaning um, cleansing to the person. How easy? How easy is it for the person to accept or agree to, you know, to, to go through this carbon cleansing process for his or her car? I mean, yeah, there are two types of vehicle owners. The ones that are conscious of yeah. their car or their engine and the ones that are not conscious. So, I mean, the one that is conscious, I mean, 
actually understands the entire, I mean, the importance of the, of the service. Okay. What to do for his car. Because, trust me, you are saving money. Because if, uh, imagine, like, uh, this more or less is cleaning up to six components on the engine. These are expensive parts. Imagine changing all these parts, I mean, frequently. You are spending money all the time. And you are wasting money on fuel. I mean, I'm not saying we are wasting money on fuel, but I mean, the fuel prices are going up each day. I mean, <laughs> per hour or something, yeah. yeah. True. So, I mean, if you are saving, if you are saving you up to 10% on fuel, it's good. All right. So, how easy or how accessible is your service? I'm, I'm, I'm online 24-7. You just book us on our website. Which is? Can you, can um, you please put it www.carboncleaninghana.com www.carboncleaninghana.com right. Or, well, I mean, via our uh, pages, Instagram, Facebook, and then WhatsApp. What things do you use on, 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 on these platforms? Okay, Facebook is Carbon Cleaning GH. And then Instagram is Carbon Cleaning Ghana. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. All right, so nice, nice spending some time with you and also sure. nice educating, educating us on your, your carbon cleaning service. Sure. So, you carbon clean your cars, get rid of all carbon to your cars, you know, for a faster and re, to revitalize your engines, carbon clean your cars.